because there was a god dang bug larva that grew up and lived in that part of the sunflower seed. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Judson Huck here today, man. I hope you're having like a really, really good day. Like one of those days that you basically like, man, this day is better than whipped cream on pizza, dude. Today we're going to talk about spits right here. I love me some sunflower seeds, man. Sunflower seeds are awesome. You know, every now and then, right, you get one of them seeds that actually tastes a little bit bitter, right? Really like, whoa! And I'm not talking about the burnt ones or the overcooked ones. Those ones are okay. Those ones aren't too bad. But I'm talking about the one that actually leaves a horrible taste in your mouth, man. And you can't even get it out, man. And you're thinking like, man, what did I just eat? And you're like, <laughs> and you're trying to spit out the seed as fast as you would. A bullet train flying across the world 15 times faster than a Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. What does matter, though, is them bad tasting seeds, man. Now, a lot of the time... All right, you're gonna find yourself with a spit that has a little hole in it like this, right? So what I do is I like to fill the whole spit before I crack it because if I crack the wrong seed, man, my mouth is filled with a bad movie on a Saturday night, man. We got this tiny little hole in your seed. You don't want tiny holes in your seeds. Let me show you, I'm gonna do the crack because if I, I don't do crack, man, I'm just gonna crack the seed, hold on. Flavor on the outside tastes fine. There's the crack. But that's where I stop, okay? I'm gonna stop right there because let's just see what happened. We're gonna open that up. As you can see, that seed right there been completely hollowed out right there. Now what does that tell us? Not only do you have less sunflower seed than you would have had if that hole wasn't there, you're gonna have the bitter tasting sunflower seed. Now that's horrible, man. You don't want that to ever happen. Now. I'm about to tell you what that is and why that happens. Okay, so apparently there's a god dang bug, man. Whether it be a fruit fly or a weevil or some kind of beetle, man, that lays its eggs, its larva, right? While the, the flower is growing, man, out of the garden, it's like, it's growing and reaching towards the sun and the flower is starting to bloom or whatever before the seeds are created. This larva is born inside of this uh, flower uh, seed yet material. Now, what happens is, as the seed progresses, it grows a perfectly good seed or whatever, and it grows and becomes a good seed that looks just like every other sunflower seed on the side of the road. That's where it comes down to basically looking down at the god dang seed and realizing that little bug burrows its way outside the shell, man, after eating a pocket of the seed, man. And what it does, man, is it completely changes the flavor of that sunflower seed, and you ain't gonna wanna be eating that sunflower seed because there was a god dang bug larva that grew up and lived in that part of the sunflower seed just for a minute and then it crawled out of there just in time for you to do the old lick click and spit man not good anyways so if you ever find yourself eating some sunflower seeds be sure to check those sunflower seeds out make sure there ain't no holes in there because when you do find one of those and you get the bitter taste man holy gross you don't want that you know how that goes next time you're something don't do it don't just make sure you are what all right well, until next time, you know how that goes, Judson Hook.